Welcome back to the 314th annual National Spelling Bee, where spelling is hard. I'm your host and commentator to hear more. And to my immediate right, we have a very special guest in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes from a long lineage of paper towel folders. A lot of people don't know that it's a real <laughs> job. He's here with us right now for What Cheer Iowa, Kevin Frederick. Thank you so much to hear. You know, I haven't heard my bio written so long. Yeah. I, you know, sometimes you forget those you things. You forget. But boy, did we fold some paper towels and come from which part of Iowa? What cheer Iowa? What cheer Iowa? Boy. Had to look that one up. Didn't know it was a real city. It's a real city. <laughs> it's you a got real city. Corn and stuff. <laughs> boy, Iowa, man. It's just pretty much corn and paper towels. You know, that's, and corn's where you want to get in. That's what that's what the money is. You know, is. but the corn, I mean, but everybody can't be in corn. Everybody can't, you gotta have lots. It's a corn. long line of corn, people yeah. own corn farms. Corn? You know, corn. I don't remember eating any corn. So the second option <laughs> yeah. is paper towels. Paper towels. Big industry. Thrilling. Yeah. Just yeah. Big stuff. Didn't know you get into my family history today, but you know, hey, listen, it's here. I mean, when I'm going to have a guest on, I like to know what <laughs> I'm getting you. myself into. <laughs> Before we begin, though, I have to ask you, were you, what was your favorite subject in school? Uh, Big on history. Big on history. I love history, World War history, mm -hmm. um, African American history. Okay, good save, um, good save. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put that last, but it's, it's kind of important. I'm just <laughs> big on history. Gotcha. I, I like to learn about the past and things. You, I did a lot of research on your family. Did you? The gerbil tribes that came what? down from I believe it was Eastern Europe yep. migrated over yeah. the mountains and the yeah. way you guys came to America. The, the language, language, oh my God. Yep, there it is. There it is. That? Yeah. You speak it so fluently. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'm so I'm impressed. Yeah. It's a childhood dream to be next well, to you. Know, I've been trying to hide it. To speak to other animals, you know, squirrels do a little. <laughs> As right. Well, yeah, oh, you're yeah. fluent. I am. I am. You're fluent. I'm bilingual. I'm Man, bilingual. that's a St. Yeah. Louis, Louis squirrel. That is an East St. Louis squirrel. Wow. Oh, yeah, you noticed that right there. That's, that's very impressive. Good. I don't know if you guys remember when, uh, uh, who was that? That was a Jadakiss was doing a paper towel bandana. I, and I was like, man, that is just wasteful. Because right. I know how much paper towels yeah. cost. Yeah. But I, was, I can't imagine if you tried. <laughs> to do a paper towel. It was just... When were we going to get to the spelling? <laughs> I was hoping to just... People were going to come up and they were going to spell. That's what I had signed up for. Okay, well, before we do that, because we're about to jump right into work okay. you a good speller. I thought I was. Uh -huh. And then I went into spelling being third grade. Yes. And I got out on the first word, carriage. Which I spelled C-A-R-R-I-A-G-E, uh -huh. which is how I thought it was spelled. Yeah, it's not. She thought, she said wrong, sent me back to class, and I never heard anything wait else second, about wait, it. Wait, what, how, wait a second. How do you spell Karis in it? I believe like... it's C-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. Yeah. But there was no way to, like, you know, uh, boycott or yeah. challenge the ruling, yeah. you know, and I just Could've had to go. Butted her, but he would have went to jail for murder. <laughs> We're going to jump right into our first contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to please oh. help me welcome. She is from Boring, Oregon. That is a real place. She's a sock groomer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show, Miss Cassandra Joe. Ba, 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 ba. Sock groomer. I didn't even know that was a thing. You guys are actually uh, in the business of when people get too many lint balls on the socks, you guys take all of that off. How did you guys get into something like that? There you there go. You, go. you, just you gotta use your sock hand. <laughs> They, they yank well, you know, when you have too many like lint balls, yeah. it's really uncomfortable comfortable in your shoes. Yeah, you know? it is. So you have to shave it off or you have to go a size up in your oh, shoes. Yeah. So size up. We had to make sure that, you know, we didn't have to have people doing that. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now you guys have a machine for that? Is this one by one with like tweezers? Is this uh, by it's hand? One by one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. One by one. That is very yeah. archaic. That's wow. a very old way of doing yeah, it. You know, we're boring. Yeah. That's that is all right. Do you mind lifting up your pant legs so I can see your sock real quick? Um, Okay, I just wow. wanted to make sure. Yeah, it was that's, nice, nice, that's a nice looking sock right there. I just wanted to make sure she was using her own product. Because you never know. You know, you got to test the product. No. All right, next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have Zion Palmer, who's from Ding Dong, Texas. Also a real place. Zion is a professional groomsman. Uh, so he just goes to weddings and uh, gets in with a fist in. Zion, thank you so much for being here. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me, sir. Absolutely. That's, that's nice. Very, very mm -hmm. nice. He's got the Gucci sandals on, so yeah. business is doing well, Zion? Hey, bo business is booming right now, believe it or not. Wow. I, I actually do believe it. This is a great wedding season where you're going from the summer into the fall. Another one is May. Is that is that your busiest time around you May? You be a good fit for it, actually. Ah, I don't think you can afford me. But not, not you personally. I'm just talking about, like, weddings. I don't think, you know. And then the suits, you know, like they weddings? all have to be custom okay. if to hear was in them, so. Yeah, because I got here. Understandable. I got my yeah. mother's here. Hey, I'm big, too, though, brother. Come on now. I, I see it. I see it. And I've seen a couple pictures. You have 
have on like the tuxedo jacket yeah. with like those sweats right there, actually. Right here. Yes. So comfort. 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 I get it. I get it. I can have first. Comfort first. That's Absolutely. Important. Comfort so how long? Yes. Comfort yes. First. yes. How long have you been doing professional Oof. groomsmen activities? Man, brother, it's been years now. Okay. Years. Business picked up recently because, yes. you know, the pandemic, everything yeah. shut down. Right. Right. But we back. We we're, back. We better than ever now. I would be being paid in, in place. I just like, just give me two extra places. Of course you my place. would. Of course. <laughs> when money's available, you would choose food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode would not be possible as, a, as, as, as not any episode of uh, Spelling is Hard without the announcer. This young lady is amazing at what she does. You might have seen her on other episodes of Wording is Hard or the previous pro uh, format of Spelling is Hard, but... Um, Talking is hard as well. I Speaking did not finish my coffee. Word is, is hard. Uh, this the, is your show. It's the first time you're saying this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> this would not be possible. I, I, spelling, I, Maya. Maya. I'm talking to cursive. You haven't learned this yet. <laughs> cursive is an ar archaic language. You're going to run back archaic because yeah. that was a nice word? Yeah. <laughs> It was the word of the day on my calendar. You so couldn't introduce to... Maya, but you got archaic twice in one conversation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Maya back to the show. Make some Woo! noise. How you doing today, Maya? It's a good day to be alive to hear. She never gives me the energy I want. Wow. It's just it's just always very That is solid. about as basic as you can be. You are not going to get much more than that. Well. We're going to kick it off, guys. We got five amazing rounds of words, okay? Mm -hmm. Each word is themed, so the word that you're giving is going to correlate to that theme. We're going to kick it off with round one, and today, round one theme is sleep. So sleep. I want you guys to start thinking about all the things associated with sleep. Dreams, night terrors. I don't know why I went straight there, but that was just the next thing that kind of yeah. came up right there. So we're going to we're gonna kick it off with Zaya, hmm? because it was my... The city of one of my favorite movies. Mm, what movie is that? The Matrix. Oh. Yeah. Nice. You see The Matrix? I haven't. You say you have not? I have not seen it. Wow. Mm. I'm young though, so you have to. How old are you, that Zion? Up. I'm 22. Oh, okay. So you know how to work Netflix. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Best believe. <laughs> Best believe. We know, our generation knows how to use Netflix. Okay. Wow. You've seen a DVD before in a DVD player? Maybe once or twice what my year whole were you life. Born in? 99. I just made oh, it. Oh, my. God. I He's just made it. He's outside to here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's outside in the world alone and was born in 99. He's 1999. Wow. He's 1999. What month? Nineties, 90... baby. What night? No, no. No, no. I don't get you to do that. Born... No, I don't get to do just, that. Just tell no, him. No, you're a thousand. Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> month were you born in? September. Oh, he <laughs> didn't even know to make it for real. He might have been early. He might have supposed to have been the December, he baby. He probably was supposed to be October at least. Yeah. Were you early? I have to ask my mom. Oh, oh sick of this Ask my what is mom? your rising moon? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is it rising moon or rising sun? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know things. I know words. You know what? Let's kick it off. Zion, you're first. Maya? Zion, your first word under sleep is insomnia. Whew. Take your time, Zion. You stood up. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Can you use that a uh, sentence, please? Yeah, she Thank had you. to cut caffeine out of her diet because it was giving her insomnia. Now we're noticing that his arms are crossed across his chest. He's covering up his breastplate. <laughs> and those. I. Like he did not. <laughs> in. Insomnia. You gotta sing it. That yeah, you something. You have to sing it. Insomnia. There you yeah, go. Kind of spelling yeah. it with the finger, a little bit of that. I said I in, correct? You, you did. did. You did. did. Yeah. And you have approximately 12 seconds left. Oh, there's. <laughs> I N S. There you go. O. Okay. M. Uh huh. N I A. Come on, Zion. That's correct. Let's Ooh. go. Let's go. Let me huh? Now the confidence wasn't there. No, not but he at gave all. It his best. He was genuinely surprised. He, he spelled was, that word correctly. He was the N I A. That's he was what like, you do oh, with wow. the N I A. Like, N -I -A. <laughs> just throw it out there. So you, you want them to not hear it, but just like I yeah, guess that was, right. was close enough. But it was actually right. He actually got it. You gotta trust in yourself, brother. You Sleep well trust. tonight, Zion. You're best for foot forward. I told y'all. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever suffer with insomnia? No. Never? I sleep well. You go to bed early, too, I don't know. Around right? 9. Woo! I, around around nine. 9, I'm probably on my fourth poop of the day. Yeah. Every day? Well, it's between 3 and 4. How much feed do you consume? <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about 30, to, 30 to 35 pe pellets? Oh, wow. Four poops? You have to plan those out. You can't just yeah. go, go on about your day. You know what it is? They, they tend to run a little long, because I will sit there, and then my legs will fall asleep, and then I have to wait for my legs yeah. wake up, and I get back on my phone. So it turned into about an hour. Hours. Wow. If it's over you an hour, I can four hours a day in the bathroom. When you say it like that. 
Do <laughs> you say it correctly? Wow. Like that, 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 that That's a lot good. of time to be. And we're moving on. To yes. Miss <laughs> Cassandra. Maya? Cassandra, your word for sleep is nightmare. Mm. So I always wonder, like, with a nightmare, it's one of those, is it one word or two? I always think. Okay, nightmare. N I G H T M A R E. That's kind of Come on. Let's go. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. It's anybody's game right now. We I love it. my uncle Nightmare. Did you? Mm hmm. <laughs> he was very dark. <laughs> We're going to move on to round two, where the theme is beauty salon. Mm. Yes. Yes. So I want you guys to start getting those wheels turned, start thinking about hair dryers, start thinking about curling irons, start thinking about rollers. Mm -hmm. My mom used to wear Perm. rollers. Perm. My mom used to have an activator. Oh, did she? I mean, a jerk curl. She carried activator. I had an uh, <laughs> S-curl. The first time I got musty was in seventh grade. First time I, you got musty? First time I got musty was in seventh grade. I had a curl, and I had an S-curl, and I smelled myself. I was like, oh, that's me. And I took that activator out, and I put it on the outside what? of my shirt. Because it had a sweet. Because I thought the sweet smell would cover up the, the funk. It You're did not. sweet musty. Woo, dripping. <laughs> I was basted like a turkey. All right. We're going to... Pick this off with Zion. We're going to throw it back to you. You are up first. Maya? Zion, your word for beauty salon is acetone. Ooh, that's a tricky one, too. Yeah. Like I lost this yeah. Acetone. Mm. Can you use it to give me the definition, please? Yeah. I think you're supposed to keep the window open if you're using acetone. Mm. Can Maya, I can I get the origin? Please. Yes, it's please. Latin and Greek. That's not going to help. I was just trying to buy some time. A-S... Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, don't listen to them, Zaya. You're doing great. <sighs> Just power through, man. Power through. Hit I. Should, hey. they, should they keep going when it's already? Yeah, yeah. they should definitely they should keep going. Acetone. Uh -huh. I said AS, correct? Yeah. Yes, you did. Do I have to stick with that? You or got, no, it? you got to go with that. Yeah. I got to keep going? <laughs> yeah. You can throw anything in now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this smell blue. <laughs> Just to let you know, whatever letters come next, it's going to be fine. Uh, the result's going to be the same. <laughs> Just put as insomnia. Yeah. Just go ahead, because we know you got that one down, Pat. You got five seconds. Am I five seconds up now? No, no sir. <laughs> I'm going to just take this L on the chin. Just give me something. Give me a couple more letters so I can close out a word. Acetone. Uh -huh. A-S-O. Uh-huh. He really chose any letter. Yeah. P-H. Okay. Oh, that oh, works. Get creative. Right. Yeah. That's good. good. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to end it with T-O-N. All there right. You that's go. the You yes. got about three letters that was really in it. Yeah. He was he was close to spelling another word. <laughs> he was there. Uh, Maya, do you want to give him the correct spelling? Yes. It's A-C-E. Let's stop right there. Right there. It's what? <laughs> it's what? A-C-E. Okay. There it is. Yeah. A-C. That's a tricky one, It though. is. Ass. It just sounds like the ass, but you got yeah, I'm sorry, Maya. You can continue spelling it now. A-C-E-T-O-N-E. Mm, mm. She was spelling it because she knew too. She, yeah, she, she was disrespecting yeah. you, I feel like. Yeah. So. When, she, when he said the S, I saw her go. <laughs> God damn. 22? Wow. <laughs> generation is doomed. Oh, All right. Uh, so we're going to move on to Miss Cassandra. Cassandra, your next word is coming right up. Cassandra, your word for beauty salon is electrolysis. I didn't even, I've been looking at this the whole time. I didn't know how to pronounce it. You did. <laughs> what was it? Electrolysis? Lysis. <laughs> Lysis. Yeah. Electrolysis. You thought it was, thought it was Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's standing up tough every time. Yeah. Yeah, write it, it out. Write it out. Oh, oh the man. Now, the palm, that's a good thing. It doesn't help at all, but it feels like it a feels good mechanic. Like it. Yeah, it feels it like your brain the, is the muscle singing. memory of right. actually writing on a sheet of paper. Here she goes. Here we go. Electrolysis. Can I do that on my You yes, can, yes. whatever helps. E L E C T R O L Y S I S. Oh, come my. on. Like to right. hear. Come on. The confidence for her to deliver that under duress. Listen. That was fantastic. I was sweating for her. Oh, my. You've been it sweating. It is so for a while. much. I haven't been sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Sandra, that was a fan. Fantastic job. For some reason, I feel like she just had it, though. She did. She didn't ask for a yeah. hint, language yeah. of origin. She just went into her mind and wrote it down. I am Amazing. Very I'm very impressed oh, right now. I'm going to just start calling her Siri for the rest of the, there you the, rest go. Of the show. Because she got it down pat. All right. At the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen, the score is now 2-1, leading Miss Jones' way. 
Listen, with the holidays coming up, I know what's on my mind, and that's saving money, as much of it as I can. And that's why I go with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, because I know that I'm saving 25% more money than I would on going to takeout or ordering takeout or going to the grocery store. That's not even getting to the grocery store. Y'all know how I feel about that. The carts, the usable shopping bags, people leaving a cart in the middle of the aisle, buying stuff that you know you're never going to use just because you see the big sale sign. I got so much stuff in my cabinet for like 2018. It's ridiculous. But when you think HelloFresh, I want you to start thinking options, okay? Because with the seasons changing, that means your taste buds are going to change. And right now, HelloFresh has 30-plus options on their menu every week for you to choose from. Also, with the holidays coming up, you know how it goes. That Thanksgiving, that 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 that, that Christmas, that New Year's, right back to back, it's a lot of heavy eating, all right? If you want to take the opportunity and switch it up right now, that way you don't have to worry about trying to lose all of that at the top of the year. And yeah, New Year, new me, all of that. You don't want to have to do that. You got options. HelloFresh has vegan options, completely vegan, free from dairy, meat, eggs, honey, delicious stuff that you like to eat. You still can eat it, like the sweet chili tofu bowls or the spicy coconut curry stir fry. You have options, people. Listen, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I will encourage you to save some money with these delicious meals that come right to your door. You don't even have to go anywhere for it, but you will have to go to HelloFresh.com, use the promo code WORDING65, that's W-O-R-D-I-N-G-65, to get 65% off your first order and free shipping. You heard right, free shipping. So what are you waiting on? Do you want to go to the grocery store? You want to keep spending tons of money on takeout? No, go to HelloFresh.com. Use the promo code WORDING65 and save up to 65%, not up to, save 65% of your first order. And you're going to get free shipping. Hello, Fresh, America's number one meal kit. This third round is my absolute favorite round. This is the commonly misspelled words. Oh, I'm looking Greatly. at these and I was like, are you sure this Listen, is correct? Th- yeah, oh, that, that one right there gets me Ooh. all the time. Uh, so many. Do you have one right off the top? That you oh, remember? boy. When I tell you I cannot spell professor, <laughs> it be professor indefinitely, you no, might as well take always. my life. Access? I'd be like, oh, how many my. C's? <laughs> I'll just be like this. I, people think I'm on the, on the street, like just standing like the statues, <laughs> waiting for some tips. I, I just would go into a struggle. I can't do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to see if they can do it. We're going to kick it off with Zion again. And again, this is the commonly misspelled words round. Maya? Zion, your commonly misspelled word is ascertain. Sound like she doubled up on the acetone. She did. You know? (laughs) Can you please use that in a sentence? Yes. Go back and ascertain if she'll go out with me. Has has asked for a sentence helped you so far? (laughs) Not once. It It hasn't helped once. (laughs) (laughs) Ascertain. Is it uh, A. Come on, say it loud. A. Uh-huh. Is it S? Come on. E. All right, keep going. Ascertain. Come on, you you close. E. S. A. C. S. A. S. C. E. N. T. O. N. You did your best. <laughs> you know, and sometimes that's all you, and that's what you said you was going to do in the beginning. I'm going to do my best. You spelled four different words and you started five different times, okay? Let me tell you something. None of them were right. You did the best you could, though. Trying my Why, best. would you give them the correct spelling, please? Yes, it's A-S-C-E-R-T-A-I-N. As certain. Oh! As certain! Never knew that. Now, that would have been really helpful because yeah. I would have misspelled that too with Zion. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Let me tell you something. You're a creep, but you know who a bigger creep than you? Cassandra Jones. You know what I'm saying? For her to spell it out while Maya spell it like, eh, 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 eh. Oh. <laughs> she's feeling herself right now. She is. She, she, she is. One in the top, bottom of round three. She's oh. pretty confident. She got full Sasha Fierce energy right oh, now. Oh, absolutely. She did that. Spell fear. Yeah, she does. Yeah, that's not the first time you've done that. <laughs> you have practiced those moves in the bathroom mirror many a night. <laughs> Two swigs of I'm, Moscato in. I'm not going to act like I don't have a whole choreographed dance to rock, OK? Yeah, rock it comes on. Oh, and look, let me sit this ass. Oh, yeah. Whole thing in lingerie, wow. jock strap. You're in lingerie? I am. I got oh. a lot of male lingerie. Fenty makes a lot of male lingerie. Well. All right, we're moving on to the next word in the commonly misspelled words theme. Maya? Cassandra, 
your commonly misspelled word is especially. This is one of the ones. Mm -hmm. I, I try to spell especially. It looks like ESP, like <laughs> English as a single letter. <laughs> Can you give me the etymology of that word? Oh, etymology. She is showing the f off. <laughs> it's French from Latin. French? Okay, from Latin. Oh, that's what The origin of yeah. etymology. It's etymology. It's, it's Intimate. It's, it's etymology. Oh, it's etymology. It's etymology. It's etymology. It's etymology. It's Okay. She's looking a little nervous. Looking a little nervous to hear. I feel like she's an actor. I feel like she's just keeping us on the edge of our seat. <laughs> I also want to know what's queen, under that yes, head, I am. <laughs> Okay. Especially. E S P E C I A L L Y. Come Especially. on! T F on. Come on. Come the f on. Yes. I got you. Say it again. <laughs> come T F on. No, no, you say come. Come the f on. There oh it my is. god, Come it on. felt like it was coming from me. Yes. Oh. Woo! Exhilarating. Zion. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> when you got it, you got it. When you don't, you don't sometimes. But you still have two rounds left. Finish strong, Zion. Finish strong. She we can believe mess you up. don't know what's gonna happen with her. You don't know. She, she can mess up these next right. two rounds. I huh? know, but that was the past. You got the college professor up here. I'm hey, going against. It's, it's fine, though. Don't worry about that. I sold dope, but look where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anything is possible, huh? He did. We moving on to the next round. Before we do, I just want to remind you, the score right now is three to one, leading Miss Cassandra's way, all right? But it's still it's still free game right now, so yeah. you can come back, man. All right, so keep that confidence. You're going to need that. Going into this third round, I'm sorry, the fourth round, where the theme is the ER. So we're talking about the emergency room, guys. You know, start getting those wheels turning for all the things that you could possibly see in the emergency room. Badass kids, mm -hmm. galls, triage. You wouldn't see that, but that's actually how they pick the people in yeah. the emergency room. Yeah. All right, so let's get the wheels to turning. Zion, you were up first. Remember insomnia. Yeah. You had that word. You did. Keep mm -hmm. that confidence. There it is. I'm going to try. There it is. Zion, you actually have two words. It's OK. One's very easy. Your words are umbilical cord. <laughs> Maybe he should start with the second one just to build the confidence. Can he spell it backwards? <laughs> and it's not a bad idea to like just to build, just to build confidence. confidence. Zion, we're going we're gonna to do something completely unorthodox. Once want you sport, spell the second word first. Maybe to help boost that boost your confidence, and then tackle that first word. Stand no, no, stand up with some confidence. Yeah, come on, Zion, stand, stand up like, like that. Stand like up. You got some coochie on the horizon. Tell, yeah. me, tell me the word one more time. There you go. Umbilical cord. Boom. Let's go. Let's yes. go, Zion. Come on. Huh? I'm gonna say the second word first. Right? Yes. Yeah. Build yes. that confidence. C O R D. Boom. Hey. Hey. Look who's hey. A good start. Okay. Now let's go. Push Woo. your glasses up. You there you go. Up. There we go, baby. Umbilical. Uh huh. Ooh. Confidence is leaving. Confidence. No, 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 no. Don't you let it flee. <laughs> Close the door. Lock it up. Confidence is fair. Come on. Is it A L? Uh huh. Keep going. Keep going. Yes, he's on his way. He's on his way. My mind just went blank. <laughs> so you just want to go L card? I'm just gonna have to. Just, okay. Just All right. He gave, he, a L. He gave it. He gave it his his best. He started with an A. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> he started. Somebody in the audience just was like, "What well, shit, nigga? If you're not gonna try." <laughs> the thing about it is, um is in the sound. Umbilical. Um, he was umbilical. like, umbilical. A L. Yeah, that's no. that's how I'm gonna attack yeah. this. That is that is the way that this. Oh, I see what you did. You were spelling the end of the word first. No, he got umbilical. He started no, there. A L. He didn't do that at all. He didn't go with the um part. He didn't go correctly. No, he, he didn't. didn't. You was out here. Maya, would you care to spell the word correctly for me, please? Yes, it's U-M-B-I-L-I-C-A-L cord, which you got Umbilical. right. C-O-R-D. Umbrella. So do I get half a point? No. Ah, OK. I mean, it wouldn't it help you, but yeah, yeah. It would not help at this no, point. No, no, no. All right, moving on to Ms. Cassandra Jones. Cassandra, your word for the ER is clavicle. <laughs> to be honest with you, not as confident she usually looks. Yeah. I would mess that up too. Oh man. Yeah. Is that this little sexy part? Yeah. Clavicle? Yeah. It's my shoulder. That's Christian cleavage. I call it my shoulder cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yeah. It's all fun and games until you're in the ER with a broken clavicle. Jeez, what, what are y'all doing out there? Mm -hmm. and whatever. So I'm trying to catch yourself. Okay, so it's it's kind of tricky because it's either A L or L E. Mm. So. 
All right, I'm going to try it. You got this. You got this, Cassandra. Let's go. C L A V I C L E. Correct. What? And with that, Zion is right back in it. Yes. Uh, he is so much closer to 5-1. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Than he was earlier. Let's see. You are, you, but listen, that's going to be a first. We haven't had anyone get beat that bad. So Hey, but you'll go down the history books. Yes, you will. What made you decide to go with L-E instead of A-L? I had to visualize it. Got okay. it. Got okay. it. So, so she can see the words in her mind. Yes, yeah, she can. I Very could just helpful. see what it is. I would have just been looking at her shoulder the whole time. Uh, that spell? It's just this part right here. It would have helped it all. Moving on to the last round. This theme is dogs, OK? So I want you guys to start thinking about all things dogs, poodles, uh, German shepherds, uh, uh, cocker spaniels. Is that how I say that? Shih like... tzu. Shih, shih tzu. You, you want to cut you so I do. One bad. day. This year. <laughs> this year? This year. I think I'm saying schnitzel, uh -huh. then shih tzu. Well, let, call me, because I want to be there when you cut. I'm, I'm going to get you drunk. We're going to say all the cuss words. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. All right. Theme is dogs. The first competitor is Zion. Zion, once again, you have two words. This is an Alaskan Malamute. I had never even heard of this. I didn't even think I that was real. I thought, I thought that, that was a real time, please. Alaskan Malamute. I thought that was a scientific name for Bigfoot. <laughs> I thought that was Bigfoot's scientific name when I saw that on a piece of paper. Can you please use this sentence? Yes. Why would you buy an Alaskan Malamute in Los Angeles? Why would you give me this word? <laughs> <laughs> Zion, I'll be honest with you, man. This is a toughie. Okay? This is just, tough. Just go up there. If I were you, I would go up there and I would just spell dog. And that's, <laughs> that's all I would have. I would just stand and be like, D-O-G. Come on, just stand and deliver, baby. There you go. There we go, go, huh? Let me tell you, he didn't want to do that. I saw that, how that leg rub. Yeah. You that leg. <laughs> that's like somebody asked you to move your car at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> all right, I'm going <laughs> to That's why I hate coming over here. <laughs> I ain't got no cover. You ain't got no cover parking? You ain't got no guest parking? <laughs> All right, here we go. 10 seconds on the clock. Give it your best shot. You got Alaska. You know that part. Hopefully. Yeah, right, we'll give it a try. Oh, You're 22. Lord. Lord. A L A. Uh huh. S. Mm hmm. K. Uh huh. Is it I A? There you go. Have a seat. You gave it your best. We're out of time. It's okay. Alaska is what he was going for. We were looking for Alaska. He was so close to getting one word correctly, but that's okay. Sometimes. Oh, God. You, had... <laughs> you said you got Alaskan. He was like, do I? <laughs> he said, you got Alaskan? I'll show you. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> Spell Zion. Just to make sure we <laughs> assess how bad it really is. <laughs> he just Man. been saying present. He's never Man. made a thing. <laughs> Zion Palmer, yeah. can you write your name on the paper? No. <laughs> ZP, I'm here. Man. All right, listen, man. Steve Katranja can do this. Mal 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 it was, mm. Is that the, the word? Malamute. Yeah, I, was, I, I can't say it right. You know I ain't going to spell it, right? I, I've never heard of this word. All right, uh, Maya, do you want to uh, spell the word correctly for him? Yes. Alaskan, A-L-A-S-K-A-N, Malamute. M-A-L-A-M-U-T-E. It's an Eskimo dog. It is actually spelled exactly how I said it. It's a Malamute that threw yeah. me off. Yeah, but because you, you don't, if you never seen it, you can't visualize no what's going on. That might be an And it's an Eskimo language of origin. We yeah. don't know much we about don't know that. What's going on right there? All right. Let's Last see if word. can do this. Since For she's all confident. Theme is dog. She got her degrees and she knows everything. <laughs> Look at that auntie came out of her right uh, now. Hand on the hip. Hand on the knee. That's a double who you talking to. <laughs> oh, who you, who you talking to? <laughs> Cassandra, your dog word is affenpincher. OK, I think we finally got one that's going to stump her. I couldn't even say that three times fast. These are two dogs I did not know existed before today. Nobody needs to know. It's too many dogs. It's too many dogs. <laughs> it is. We need like six dogs total. This is a very old breed of dog. Can you repeat the word one more time? Affenpincher. So like, I got a sph sphincter. Mm. I just learned how to spell that three days ago. Did you? Yeah, sphincter is a difficult word, man. Yes. Affenpincher. Can you give me the origin of the word? German. German. You been there last? Affenpincher! <laughs> <laughs> I said affenpincher, yeah, what do you want? 
laughing fisher! Are we all laughing fishers? We have a German shepherd. Oh, snap. <laughs> Affin Pincher. Mm -hmm. It's one word. Never heard of this in no. my life. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. And dogs always, like, the spelling always gets me. So let's see. This okay. word don't protect black women. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. Let's give it, it a shot. It is very violent to black women. She's giving it a shot. A F F I N. P I N S C H E R. You had everything so there. So close, Cassandra. Except for the F F E N instead of I N. You were right there. Everything else was right. Oh, oh but you did an amazing <laughs> job. Amazing job. Amazing job. Give it up for. Maya, would you like to spell the entire word correctly, please? Yes, it's A F F E N. P-I-N-S-C-H-E-R. Like Doberman Pinscher, yes, but it's a little, yep. I would have I would have missed the second uh, F. I would have missed that E probably. Yeah. That S. Oh, I never would have known oh, yeah. S was that. That's just snuck in there. Oh man, it was he like, a, like a thief in, in the time. night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Cassandra Jones is the winner of the 314th. A was spelling, B was spelling is hard. We also want to thank Zion Palmer for coming up. Make some noise for him as well. Would not be possible without our lovely instructor, Miss Maya. And of course, we want to thank our special guest for coming through, Kevin Fredericks. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate all the paper towels that you brought with you. Give You're us welcome. W E L C O M E. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you next time on another episode of Spelling is Hard. <laughs> <laughs>